Hello, happy Sunday. It's a little chilly here today. I guess that's what comes with winter. Hopefully, we won't be getting this, any snow that's in the forecast. That's always interesting. I'm just not in the mood to shovel any snow. So today, I decided to pick painted poppies. Um, it's a stamp set that's in the annual catalog. And it is a really pretty stamp set. And I thought it would be nice to work with uh, some flowers today because it's so gloomy and cold and we're going to be making note cards um, instead of creating a larger card like we usually do we're going to do note cards I will have a blog post for these with all the measurements so there's no need to keep track of um, the sizes okay so we are going to start with a basic white card base and this measures seven by five we're going to score it at three and a half so now we have a three and a half by five um, note card hi Fran how are you I am going to layer it up with some real red. I found a few little pieces of real red today. And this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. I use so much red this month that I do not have any left. And I've been, believe it or not, trying using red a lot this month. And that seems to be my go-to color. Not knowing if it's because of Christmas. I do. So we're going to take this real red layer. And we're just going to adhere it right to the front of the card. Okay. So there is our card base. Now for the front layer, we're going to take another basic white. And this basic white measures four and a half by three and this is where we're going to stamp our image and our sentiment the sentiment i grabbed from um oh which did i grab this from the tag christmas tag um kit and i didn't even keep my label but it's from the christmas tag kit I was making, uh, not tags, cart, gift card holders. It's from this kit here. I was making gift card holders this morning. And I decided to use the For Someone Special um, sentiment from there. Because you'll notice Painted Poppies has no sentiments. Okay. So we're going to take our basic white. And I'm just going to use some memento and the single little flower. And we're just going to ink this up. And I'm going to put this right over here. I'm going to try not to rock it. There we go. So just a quick and easy memento stamp. And I'm just going to pull my real red in. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to color this in really quick. I'm going to take dark and light old olive. And let's just nothing fancy because this is our simple Saturday card. So we're just going to color the leaves and the stems. We want to be careful because 
the nib on our marker is a little fat and I don't really want to use the brush because it bleeds and it really runs so this is dark and light old olive and I'm just gonna add just a little bit okay how's that for quick and easy and then I'm gonna pull in some dark and light uh, real red and I'm just going to add some dark to the bottom of this stamp and those back ones just a little bit and then we're going to take the light real red and let's just fill that in completely you don't have to spend lots and lots of time on coloring when you want to make a nice simple card for someone And then we'll just color in that bud. So quick and easy, right? Hi, Margaret. And then let's get this sentiment, and we're going to put it right up here in the upper left-hand corner, and we're going to use some real red ink. I'm just going to stand up so I can make sure that I get this on here straight. Whoops. And then we can pull our card back in. Let's add a bit of seal. Layer this right on the front. And then there you have a really quick and easy card. Now for the inside, I'm going to layer it with some real red again. And I'm going to take my basic white, and these should be the same size as the front. Yep. The basic white is four and a half by three. Then I'm going to take this larger stamp, and I'm actually going to grab my real red and ink up this stamp and fit it right here along the bottom but I'm going to pull it down a little bit and just stamp that on the bottom of the inside of the card and then adhere it to our real red layer You can do this with any sentiment. If you need a birthday card really quick, it would be a perfect card for uh, adding to a you know, birthday gift. And instead of putting for someone special, you could add happy birthday. So there you go. A really quick and easy note card using the painted poppies. So let's just step it up a little bit. We're going to use our basic white note card size. So it's five by seven, scored at three and a half. Same thing as the other card. I am again going to layer it up with some real red, same size three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then we're gonna add a layer of basic white that we ran through the cut and emboss machine with the time-worn type. So let's just add this to this. 
make sure it's on there straight. And then again, let's just go ahead and adhere this right to the front of the card. Embossing folders are just the perfect accessory to stepping up your the front of your card. All right, so there is the front. Then I grab my scallop contour dies and I die cut this little frame, the scallop frame. And then I cut a piece of basic white to fit inside the stitching on this frame. And it should be one and seven eighths, and it is by three and a quarter. And this fits in here. very nicely it has a nice little edge around it let's pull in our piece of scrap paper now this time i'm going to grab some balmy blue and i am going to ink it up and i'm going to stamp off because i don't really want it very dark I just want something in the background. And we're going to take this same stamp. And we're going to stamp this flower right in the center of this layer. Just like that. And again, I am going to color it in quick. Again, I'm not going to be fancy. This is the dark, so let's get some dark here and here. I'll come down the middle of this leaf. And this is the light old olive. So we're just going to finish off coloring this in. really quick and easy let's grab that real red again light and dark I'm gonna do the same thing just the bottom of these petals and then in here just scribbling some color in and let's just fill this in the rest of the way so how's everybody doing today hope you've been having a great day I have to be honest, I almost completely forgot about today. I came in here and started working and got a lot of things done and then went out and Bill was like, so you ready for your class this afternoon? Hey, Julie, um, my back is killing me, <laughs> but that's okay. And like I said, I got involved and Bill was like, are you all ready for your class? I said, oh shoot, forgot all about it. So I did it really quick. I'm like, Julie was asking about my back. You're baking, woohoo. Good for you. I do have dinner on. <laughs> no baking though. I should come to your house. I love cookies. <laughs> All right, so I'm just I've just wrapped it with a little piece of ribbon. Okay, and I will tie a bow. But first, I'm going to adhere this 
to our frame. And again, I'm going to use this uh, seal, if I can get it started here, because the glue will definitely show through. So let's just get this on here. I know I am, and I should head over there. Are you having company at your house, Julie? Are they coming to you this year? All right, so now I'm going to pop that. Now that we got that layered, we're going to just pop this right onto the front of the card. I actually was making and filling out Christmas cards. Oh, my goodness. I have to run to the post office tomorrow because I know a lot of my cards are not one stampers. So I'm going to have to run to the post office tomorrow. I know. I like the old one too. The new seal, it's just a, there's a learning curve to it. And you can't be in a rush. You have to really take your time with it and make sure that when you use it, when you pull it, you tilt it and lift it. So then the seal is right there ready to use. And I know with me, I go along and I'm going too fast. And it doesn't work right. All right, so I tied a quick bow. I'm just going to trim these little tails. And we're going to grab a glue dot, I think. Oh. Okay, what did I do with them? Oh, here they are. Right in front of my face. I'm going to just grab a glue dot. And you know I don't like tying bows and wrapping. Let's just stick it over a little bit. I don't like wrapping with the ribbon and then tying a bow. And just add a bow to the front. Okay, so we have one that's really simple and then we just added the bow eh, Audrey save me some cookies and then for the inside I was going to put on a little circle actually let's do this on the inside so we're gonna pull the inside and again it's the same sizes and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to grab the real red. And ink this up. And we'll add this right to the bottom of this layer. And then I'm going to grab this little... Oh, you remember? what I did there. All right, there we go. I cut a little circle from the layering circles in basic white and then another one in red. And we are going to use that same sentiment that was in the uh, card kit or the gift card holder kit. And we'll just stamp the sentiment let's pull in our card again I'm just going to close this up before there's a disaster and let's just ink this up and we'll put it right down here over top of these flowers same thing with the sentiment And then we'll pull in our 
insert the base. Put our layer down. And then let's add it to the center of this little card. Yeah, I should do. I throw a lot away. All right. So there is the cent the middle of this card. So here is our simple Saturday. I should move my Okay, just very simple stamping little coloring. And then here it is stepped up. And all I did was use a frame and an embossing folder and some ribbon. I didn't even put any embellishments on. And then for the inside, I just added the circle with the sentiment. So there you go. Just something quick and easy and then a little bit stepped up. So I hope you enjoyed today's cards. I am going to go sit on a heating pad and I'll talk to everybody later. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. If you're still listening, Julie, happy baking. Bye.